Hello there and welcome to my spooky special effects makeup channel where today I've created the villain Vecna from the season 4 Stranger Things series. I'm using latex and cotton to build up the eye socket, brow and cheekbones as Vecna has that really angry sunken dark eye look. And then using thin strips of cotton wool, I roll them between my hands and place them all over the face to give Vecna loads of veins or arteries, I think they're veins, all over his face and body. This does take quite a while and um, it does feel very boring to do but it really is worth it once you've done a million little veins or arteries and place them all over in the right area of the face and it will come out effective. Also to dry up quickly I use the old hair dryer. Here I'm using some tin foil which I shaped into a sausage shape and wrapped with masking tape to make for the bigger vines or the bigger arteries veins that go around his shoulders and neck and the back of the head. Um, I didn't feel they were quite strong enough so I ended up putting loads of latex and tissue around them just to just to make them a little bit harder. Once you are happy with your mask then you can turn it over or you can go directly onto painting it. But with me, this is the first time that I was using air spray paint. So I didn't want to ruin all the hard work that I've done. So I tried using it on the reverse side. And then when I flipped it over, I realised it wasn't too bad. I was, could still see some of the grey coming through. So that was good enough. On the actual top of the veins, I highlighted it with white or creamy colour. Just that they popped out a little bit. And then used darker under the veins to give them more depth. Then I went on to the larger veins. This one took a little bit of a while as well, but it's definitely worth it if you keep persevering with it. So do plenty of large ones and plenty of medium and small ones just that you could cover your whole body with it. Latex, cotton, tin foil, anything that you think you can use just to stick them down and give them that vein look. Okay, now it's time for the board cap. Now, I have used this board cap so many times for so many different products, but it's lasted and it does the job because I'm going to be covering it anyway. So once I've laid that down, I then put my mask on and secured that on. As you can see, it's not in a very good shape, but it doesn't matter because you're going to build up with loads more, you guessed it, vines and veins. So once you feel you've created enough veins all over your body, all over your face rather, that's when you can start painting it in. And I've gone for grey. In some pictures, Vecna is red, but um, I did this, this look before the actual Stranger Things came out. So I only saw him as he was grey. I didn't see the red part. So anyway, we've stuck with grey now. So as you can see, just carry on using more cotton wool and latex to add those little bits around my nose, around my eyes. And then fill in the gaps by using black paint, spray paint, acrylic paints, whichever paints you prefer. Just covering that hole around the nose and don't forget around the eye area, which we'll come to in a minute. Also, with all the veins, remember to go a little bit darker underneath and in the corner under the veins so it gives it depth and makes them look, give them that 3D pop look. I then added white paint to the top of the veins just to give them that highlight to make them shine and stick out again. And then I remembered to add a couple of more veins to the back of the head to the bottom down around my neck so that they were looked more like the ones. In. And here we are with a finished look. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. And if you try to create it, please give me a message and tag me. Thanks again.